God. The word began with the Father. Father gave it to the Son. Son gave it to the Holy Spirit. But wait a minute, Church of Christ, let me pause right here this afternoon for a Bible commercial. Because we live in a time where we act like we're ashamed in the Church of Christ to say the words Holy Spirit. I'm not ashamed to say the word Holy Spirit. I'm not ashamed to say the people that I have the Holy Spirit. But I want you to know how the Holy Spirit does not make me jump up and down and scream and shout and holler and foam. It is insulting for something like that to happen. And the, the Holy Spirit is a person. And you cannot be a person without a personality. That's why I know that he is a person because he has a personality. And we ought not be embarrassed. We ought not be ashamed. Listen to me. The Holy Spirit is the It is what it is. 
It is what it is. It just is what it is. Well, I don't like it. It is what it is. <laughs> Amen. God, I'm not going to change it because you don't like it. Or because you don't go along with it. I don't want to hurt your feelings, but God could care less what you and I go along with. You didn't create no thing. <laughs> Amen. So I'm saying, the power of God on the salvation. Brethren, the Church of Christ would be so much. That's right. That's all I'm saying. Yes, yes. If you hear this afternoon, what I'm about to say to you may very well be the most important thing you've ever heard in your life. That a man needs to hear the gospel. Yes. Romans chapter 10 and verse 17. So then faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the word of God. And brethren, when you hear God's word, you need to believe it. That's right. You, you know what? He who stands for nothing falls for anything. Believe the word of God. All you got to do is believe the gospel. That's right. Hebrews 11 and verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. He that comes to God must believe that he is and that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And when you hear God's word and you believe it, it causes you to want to make change in your life. The Bible calls that repentance. Acts 17, 30. The time of this ignorance, God went back. But now commanded all men everywhere to repent. Now, pay close attention. When you hear God's word, you believe it, you repent of your sins, the Bible says you must make a confession. Now, the thing you're going to confess with your mouth is what you believe in your heart. Confession means speak the same thing. Speak the same word. Well, what word am I to speak? Watch this. Romans 10, 9 and 10. For with the heart, man believeth unto righteousness. With the mouth, homi logos is made unto salvation. You speak with your mouth what you've been taught to believe in your heart. That's a good place for the amen right there. Amen. 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 So, what have I learned? That Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Amen. That confession is taught by apostolic example in Acts 8 and 37. Then we will baptize you for the remission of sin. The Lord, and, and notice, I don't have time to dot every eye and cross every T. Baptism is unto the remission of our past sin. Amen. And then the Lord will add you to the church. Now, brethren, brace yourself now. Brace yourself. Y'all holding on to your chairs? I am not one of those preachers that is ashamed of saying Church of Christ. Do you know we've gotten to the point now where we have more folk in the church than out of the church that's ashamed when we say Church of Christ. Well, what is your problem? <laughs> For the love of God, everything you own has your name on it. Huh? I don't want to embarrass anybody. I don't want to embarrass you. But if I had any one of you stand up and open a purse or a wallet, everything that belongs to you has your name on it. Mortgage payment. Apartment, contract, car note, utilities, cable, cell phone bill, the woman you married, the kids she had, all got your name. Amen. And then you're going to tell me that when it comes to the church, names are not important. But then you're going to die and meet God and explain to him how did everything you own got your name on it, but you don't feel like his name is important. <laughs> that is the most ludicrous thing I've ever heard of in my life. They have preached that. Amen. I think we advocate things sometimes that we don't really think through. Amen. And we don't really mean it. Because i got to tell you something. No mountain ever died for you. All right. No mountain ever died. Zion, Mount Rat. Amen. And I tell you something else, no saint ever died for you. You know what? You name a church after Paul, he's going to come down and smack you. I Paul said, I told you, I, I'm glad I didn't baptize none. I said, well, I went over there with Gaius and them. I ain't baptized on the rest of them. Would you name no church after me? That's why I didn't fool with y'all baptized this time. <laughs> we still didn't get the point. We still didn't get the point.
point. 